I'm Matthew Kerner. I'm a program manager on the Windows Azure Fabric Controller team. So the Fabric Controller is like an automated brain in the data center. We've got a lot of hardware that GFS has built up to run Windows Azure. And the Fabric Controller automatically sets up the hardware, distributes the application, starts it running, monitors it to make sure that it's in good shape. It can shrink and grow the application on demand. And so it performs a set of functions that you know, you'd normally have to go through a lot of pain and suffering to do with a lot of manual configuration, logging onto many machines, and so on and so forth. So it's like an automated brain and an automated set of legs and arms in the data center to go carry out what the brain is, 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 decides to do. One of the things that I think is a key game changer about Windows Azure is um, you can define an application and then on demand get all the resources that you need to run that application, whether it's compute or storage or network bandwidth or what have you. And you don't have this barrier to entry and also, as importantly, a barrier to exit. When you're there at the end of the day and you've got thousands of servers and you no longer want to run your application, it's kind of a pain in the neck to get rid of them. So, that's pretty important too. So that's kind of a core piece and that's functionality that the Fabric Controller provides. On top of that, I think we've done an amazing job building um, abstractions that are useful to developers to build on top of this. So for example, we've got the Service Management API that lets you automatically increase or decrease the number of instances that are running in the data center so you can respond to load very dynamically without having to go to a web page and click buttons to increase the number of instances. That's one thing. A second thing that I think is really cool and, 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 and is really new is this uh, logging and monitoring stuff, Windows Azure Diagnostics that's available in the SDK. For the first time, you can really get a view into what's happening in the cloud in your application. You don't need to log on to individual machines like you would if you were running something on-premises. You can aggregate all of this data together into one single Windows Azure storage account and really get a picture of what's happening with your application from standard Windows data sources like .NET Trace APIs, performance counters, event logs. So all the knowledge and tools that developers and IT administrators have built up over time can now be leveraged to manage things at a massive scale in the cloud. And so we've brought these really you know, time-tested traditional methods and knowledge into the cloud and made it cloud friendly. Someone who wants to get started with Windows Azure can visit the Windows Azure portal at, um, at www.microsoft.com slash Azure and they can check out a whole bunch of resources there. First of all, you can download the SDK. It's free, it contains a bunch of samples. You can build a Hello World web sample. In about five minutes, you will have your own Windows Azure web role running on your desktop in a development fabric, going and watching a talk or two can really get you off on the right foot. You can see patterns and practices that are common, what's worked for some customers, what's worked for other customers. We have customers talking about their own solutions and what they've done with Azure. The three things that I think of when I think of Windows Azure are game-changing, adaptable, and yet familiar.